next game now is our Wild Turkey Game of the Week. We're still waiting, Wild Turkey. Send in a few samples, please. There we go. Now, it is the Derby. Or Derby. West Coast Eagles take on Fremantle Saturday night, 7.40pm at Domain Stadium. We'll be over there. Dicko, let's have a look at the Eagles. Maston comes in for Bennell. Um, didn't have a great final series, Maston, and the Heat will be on in this, the Derby, uh, Derby, whatever it is called. But West Coast last week uh, only switched the ball three times, Lynchy, and got absolutely crucified by Hawthorne. Uh, Western Bulldogs have switched it 28 times this season. They've only done it eight times, West Coast. You stop them, you keep them on Little Burke Street, and they can only go one way, West Coast. So when they get it on their terms, they so score So you say heavily. they want to play straight lines, or if you choke them up, that's all they can you play? Can, you choke them up, that's all they can do. They Force can't switch the, the ball. And uh, they're in the bottom three for switches. I mean, Hawthorne switched it 11 times last week against their three. So they just control the ball. And when you shift Dermot and Litchie and Shorey, yep. you shift your defence and you can pick your mark. That's how you find your holes in defence, and West Coast can't do it at the moment. So I'm off them at the moment. Tony Shaw, let's have a look at the Fremantle Dockers, please. Well, they made one change and uh, Clancy pierces out with a hamstring. DeBoer comes back in. Uh, uh, the other, other than Langdon, I'm thinking, where can they get some new names? Is there any young players in that group who can come into this group and help this side? Because at the moment, look, on the weekend, more disposals, more inside 50s, dominated their hitouts with Sandyland. And that's another thing, six goals from centre bounce clearances. And mm. Ross said after the game for two weeks that that hasn't helped. You know, it hasn't worked for them, that they've been... Cruel by the centre man's clearances. Sandy Lance is the best ruckman in the competition. What's going on? So you saying, must be able to coach something, you know, around that. So you're saying Brennan Crummel's still playing? Are that old, are they? Well, got no youth. They are that. Well, I, there's no look other than Langdon. Uh, give us another. Those, those names keep coming regurg, regurgitated every yeah every week. Centre man, as I said, two small forwards and five kick ten out of fourteen goals. Mm. You cannot relate to that to being a side who's played finals, you know, preliminary finals. And that's, that's why 100 points two weeks in a row, first time it's happened for a long time at Freer, they yeah. have got some issues. And your um, stat through the centre bounce stuff, they yes. scored, what was it, 95 points last year total, conceded? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's 55. Yeah. That's smacked up already. Yeah. That's yep. extraordinary. Yeah. That is. Let's, let's go straight on now to our Wild Turkey head to head uh, players of the week, and they are two Brownlow Millers. One is a 200 game player this weekend. Congratulations to Matty Pritter. So we have a look at the tail of the tape there. They're their disposal contested possessions from last week uh, and we see 19-15 clearances 5-10 as opposed to Prittis 3 they played him pretty well Hawks though they really sweated on him didn't get behind him didn't get in front they pushed him from side on at the stoppages so I reckon uh, Rossi's uh, midfield coaches might have studied that Fife got three goals as well. It was another vote getter for uh, Fifey there. Brownlow medalist 14 and 15 on screen there. He'll get 40 possessions this week, Fife. I think he will. I think Prittis will, will, go. will bounce back as well. He won't has, have a bad game mm. like that this week, but it'll be a great contest. But I think Fife might be in for another big one. And he'll kick four because kick he'll, four go, he'll go forward more four against and that defence. He'll have four and 40. Four well, and 40. That's four votes. Well, he deserves four because that's what he's going to do. <laughs> He'll tear this one apart. If he they go a head, vote if for they... just making that up. <laughs> <laughs> if they go head to head, Fife will kick his, but he won't probably kick him. Uh, he'll kick him forward. Pritis will go and rest down there, but Pritis will have forty. If they go head to head, because none of them put any defence into each other anyway. No, Pritis doesn't not. defend, yeah, and Fife doesn't not. defend. Who's going to win? West Coast. West Coast, uh, five goals. Yeah, West Coast. West Coast, but I am waiting for oh. the Dockers to get. A little bit of a grip on this new caper they're trying to engage in. I don't think it? it's going to be how long that are they far away. How long are they going to keep trying it, don't it? Well, you know what? If they get, they could win all their home games apart from the the Eagles mm. one. Yeah. And they could bank say twelve to fourteen wins playing their old style, and they get to the finals. And like Jordan said, you you got to come through Chicago. They've got to win games mm. on the MCG to win a, a grand final. And the old style ain't going to win it out there. Yeah. And the same, literally and the, the same style, with And the new the style mightn't well. get you there at all.